Okay, well welcome to BMIS 312. In this video I'm going to show you some basic things about NetBeans. So I've already installed my NetBeans IDE and if you notice right here everything is blank and ready to go. So what we're going to do here is we're going to create a new project. Now we're going to just use Java and then select Java application click on next. We're going to give this a project name. Now in the making of this video this is module 1. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to name this project BMIS 312 underscore module 1. And I believe I already created one earlier just to test this video out so it may actually say that one already exists. Right now I don't want to create a main class so I'm going to click off of that. Okay well let's see what happens. I'll click on finish it's now creating the project. Oh, good, no problem. Now if you notice right here, this is where the source packages are located. This is basically the root. So when your class files are compiled, they're going to be compiled in this root directory. Now let's say I wanted to add a package in here. All I would have to do is right click, select new, and then Java package. Notice I could also add other things, Java classes, interfaces, uh, GUIs such as JPanel and JFrame, many other things. I'm going to insert a new package and I'm going to call this package my first PKJ, PKG, my first package. The location is in source packages. I'm going to go ahead and click finish and so there's my first package. Now in this my first package I'm going to create a Java class and I'm going to call this Java class sandwich type. This is going to be located in the my first package. Finish. And so now I have a Java class file contained in the my first package package, which by the way the word package in Java is synonymous with folder. So when you hear the word package and folder they're synonymous. They pretty much mean the same thing. Notice this little identifier at the top. This line basically says to Java where the sandwich type class is located. So when you begin a Java file with package, my first package, in this class file you're identifying that this class file is saved in the my first package folder. Okay? All right. Well, there are some basic things we want to know about our IDE, and I think that's a good start. I'm going to be making several videos along the way. Another thing I would like to show you out there is, let's say you want to use just a regular text editor. You're taking a long time to download the IDE. One that I really like for the Windows environment is called Notepad++, and I've already configured everything here in order to make it type up nice and neat. But, for example, let's say you decided you wanted to download Notepad++. It has this nice line-by-line -line feature that goes along with it. If you want to go to Settings and then Style Configurator, uh, you can actually select different forms or different themes here for the different styles. So under Java, I have, uh, let's just choose an 18 type font. And I'll just keep these the same. Hit Save and Close. And then also what I would do is I would go to settings and then under preferences. Now under preferences there's many different things here. You want to click on file association and I've already made sure that .java is part of that. Uh, for C++ users out there you can add in .cpp and .h and various other files as well. Let's see, I believe it is located, yes, under the new document default directory tab you want to select your default language and since we're going to be using Java, Java <coughs> excuse me, I want my default language to be Java. Okay, so C++ is a very nice little program. Public class, uh, my class. And it numbers everything nice and neat. So this is a nice little uh, text editor if you want to edit things on the fly that I like to use. Let's not save that. Okay, so this is basically how you get things started uh, in your NetBeans IDE, and so that might give you a little idea on how to get things started for the homework this weekend.
All right? Well, God bless you, wherever you are tonight.